Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is that time again. We are playing a deck submitted by none other than Super Fritz. And it is a beast. It is a beast of a deck. Why am I so... Thank you! It's a little better, I guess. I don't know. I feel dark. Jimbo the Sarcophagus. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the two months, my dude. And, uh, okay, so this deck is trying to do a lot of things. It reminds me of a Fires of Invention deck. It reminds me of a Niv-Mizzet Reborn deck. It has <laughs> four ultimatums in it. A Chromatic Ori. To make those ultimatums easier to cast. Two Agonizing Roars, two Heartless Act, and one Elder Spell, just for just in cases. Uh, two Defting Clarion, three Euro, three Chromatic Lantern, three Shadow of the Sky. Because we are kind of like a control deck that wants to survive until we can play these things. Uh, two Tefri, one Jace, two Tamio, one Sarkon, good with all the Planeswalkers. Uh, one Nicobolus, two Golos, which is his favorite, his favorite card in standard right now. One Shark Typhoon, one Chandra, one Garrick, two Casualties, these four Ultimatums, and uh, a Chromatic Ori, which is super interesting. Yeah. This is something. This is something. And, uh, like 26 lands, I believe, when I checked. 25 lands. Keep in mind, there's not a single basic land in here. And, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight of them will always come into play untapped. Uh, come to play tapped. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 of them will deal less damage. So. Our fingers are crossed right now. In the sideboard, we have two Aether Gusts, one Negate, two Noxious Grasp, two more Elder Spell, two Dispute, one Ashiok, two Deafening Clarion, one more Jace. What's the what's the goal of this Jace here? Uh, one more Ruinous Ultimatum and one Mass Manips. So, without going over too much of this crazy deck, I just want to see what we can do. The Jace keeps me from milling out. Okay. I'm gonna play first. Um. You know what? As far as hands go, I'll give it a shot. We got a definite Clarion in case they have like an early. What? Oh my god, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of cards that want to be aggressive, or that want to deal with aggression rather. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that was pretty nice. But it's not been ground into play. Okay. So next time we get to Golos, and then maybe Genesis Ultimatum? No, we can never Genesis. Yes, we can. Green, green, red. Okay. So some kind of Abzan nonsense here. With all basics so far. Heck yeah, search for a land. Well, we have Genesis, so I'm just gonna get Ketria Trium to make sure we have the most, the best chance of casting it. Oh, we actually can't cast it with Beacon. Oh, the Beacons seem terrible in this deck. 
if you draw any beacon and has it as, have it as a land, like you just can't cast your 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 ultimatums on turn when you have seven mana. That's pretty rough. Yeah, you kind of just got to hope your Chromatic Lanterns are in place. There. Yeah, but I'd rather not hope that. I'd rather just engineer a situation where I don't have to worry about that. So this is going to be green, green, red, red, blue, blue, blue. Yeah, all right. Fingers crossed. Lands for days. One, two, three. Um... Twenty-five lands on the deck. And shine. Huh. It's actually surprisingly sweet here. Um Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heartless Act. Oh, I don't think I care about Chromatic Lantern. I think I'd rather just have Heartless Act up. I don't have Heartless Act up because I don't have a black source. So, okay. Uh, I don't think ulting Garrick is great. We don't have any form of creatures. So, like, we're just going to have a Garrick ultimate with no creatures to ever take advantage of it. So I'd rather... <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I like that we're never using Interplanar Beacon. They have two cards, we have two cards, we also have a Euro and two Planeswalkers and four creatures, so I feel like we're in okay position here, but Magic's okay. <laughs> I guess that answers that.
Okay, so they're like Abzan. Um, do we have anything to deal with? Yeah, we're definitely just bringing another Elder spell. I don't know if we want multiple Elder spells. Destroy the Hellion opponent as far as your opponent's control? That seems really good, and probably better than one Casualties of War. Or better than Shark Typhoon. Bolus for the rescue, or Bolus to the rescue? Five. Keep five. One can go, and Ruinus can go, sure. I don't know, man. He rescuing. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. Oh, good. Or Orry. Like a or Orry Raptor. Orry Dilophosaurus. Dun, 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 dun. Goodbye, Chromatic Lantern that I really, really actually needed. Should have kept both. Well, we're just going to play the Triome here. So we're only red source, so we're just gonna play that. We're just gonna keep playing the cards they they don't know about. doing much long time youtuber first time streamer love the videos also have you ever found out who touched your spaghetti i have no idea i don't feel safe in my own neighborhoods somebody touch my spaghetti oh yeah oh yeah let's do it well, here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we hit any trio, any uh any ultimatum next turn, we are cooking with gas, my friends. Our opponent's in diamond. I don't understand like what's happening with our decks. I mean I still feel our odds of uh, being able to cast a trio are good. Or uh, I keep saying trio ultimatum. Oh man, that's the appreciate it, buddy. I think I should be over this way. Is that better? Yeah, I always get too far over. Never. Come on. Oh goody. Me too!
dun, 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 dun. I'll survive this. We doing good. Cycle it. Oh boy. Oh boy. So they just can make a they can make the thing some uh no that thing. I hate that there's no way to see the original guard view printed card. Okay, five, there we go. That's fascinating. Um oh, So, uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're not dead. We're just close to dead. I mean, they can put more counters on Garrick, that's fine. That does not do it. Let's go to the next game. I actually don't think Shadow of the Sky is great here at all. I kind of like Elder Spell, though. I also kind of like this one of mass manipulation. Oh, what up, Scoony Love? I'll keep it. Clearly nothing's gonna happen to our chromatic lantern. Oh, just kidding. Never fails. God, I love I love discard. It's like my favorite thing ever.
Wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. Four discard spells. Cool. I mean, I'm not gonna not play this, like, and then they just steamroll us with, with our three threes, like. Yep, obviously they had another planeswalker. Creature, land, planeswalker, choose a creature. Mm, this one, choose a land, this one. I mean, I'd rather you have a 2-2 two -two and I'll take away one of your, your black sources. See, again, we have six mana and then interplanar beacon. So like if we draw any ultimatum here, we just can't cast it. Which means we're probably going to draw an ultimatum here. Ironic. Alright, we have five turns to hit something. Alright. We got two cards, though. So that's decent. We get to look at the top two. Hit something. Sure. <laughs> that's, that's great, and also why we kept it in hand. So. You got it. Took my... All right, ready? This is it. First time catching a YouTube. What kind of draft today? Okay, uh, this is actually neither. Uh, I think Amon Carry Master is trash. I'm also not even a huge cast draft fan. So we, if anything, we probably do some double, double masters. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Where are the gas? Where are the where are the haymakers again? I forgot. Okay, we're going to six. I mean, the gate's actually pretty good against most of the cards that they could play here. Yeah, I'm just not letting you get a Kai out. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy. We only have two mana, unfortunately, so we can't actually deafening Clarion here. Let's just plus. I know I noticed this somewhere. Okay, that's fine. I think Golos is pretty low impact here. It gets a land and then has to survive for a turn. 
I'm not sure they have almost any ultimatum. <laughs> Ruinous destroys all their permanents. Jeskai's good. Not Jeskai, uh, Genesis. Face. Huh. Any are permanent with different names, right? So that's not great. How much mana do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got it. We got a six, which is not enough. But we could get a land back. So if we hit an ultimatum here. We can actually cast it. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Heartless. Hmm. Let's get rid of that guy. And get our negate back. And this should actually buy us some time. They don't seem to have many creatures in their deck. I hope they try to duress us. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Um, still gonna look for Genesis Ultimatum. To the window. To the wall. Four lands. And a, and a Garrick Huntsman. Okay. Yeah, just gonna pass here. Not a single Euro in the graveyard? That's weird. This is the most food I've ever seen. life see I don't want to steal this but I, I do have to deal with it I mean, this is all fine. Like, if you're gonna two for one yourself to deal with Sarkon, like, that's a okay. Well, that's not what we want to see. Man, Euro would be friggin' golden here, but. All right, we're just stealing that guy for sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
I think this game is over now. We do have a ton of great draws. I just didn't know where they were up until the last turn. Well, we're not drawing that one now, so that's nice. Okay, do they kill their own? Sure. One, two, five, five discard spells this game. That's pretty wild. Shooting my face. Well, that's a little bit frightening. We are at two. Opponent attacks like a planeswalker you control with one more creatures. Those two are set playing into life. Oh, that's that's nice. We're at 22 cards, huh? Your past is unwritten. Target player gains five life. Me. I think we're just getting rid of the goose. We have three mana. Well, now we're back up to ten. And we have a full, 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 full grip. They used to call me old Dr. Full Grips. No one called him that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Okay, so Nicobolus put two loyalty counters on it. Dennis, what up, my dude? Welcome back. What, we got 14? Let's get rid of Clarion. Elder Spell, Elder Spell. Cards that we can't get back, basically. Nicobolus and Ugin on the board at the same time, guys. It's a flavor win. Got a good head on those shoulders. For now. You gonna kill Euro? Time's up. Golden years. Hmm, so which one? Okay, so I guess we just win the game here, right? Truth lies beyond vision. Uh, 
All right, cancel. <laughs> okay, sure. Any number of target planeswalkers. I'm gonna target this guy and this guy. Are you sure you want to target Ugin? Yes. Target any more players. Submit two. Remember, you reap what you sow. All bounds to me. Nickel Bolas wins you the game. Bolus eating Ugin to ultimate using the Elder Souls is the biggest flavor one I've ever seen. It's good. It's very good. Oh, man. Okay. I don't... I don't know if I like Beacon. I think it's... I think there's situations where you don't have... Like, you're so focused on hitting seven mana. Also, if we're so focused on Chromatic Lantern, I feel like we should have the full set of lanterns in here. Hmm. I'm also not sold on Sarkon. I don't think we have that many planeswalkers. Okay, we can cut the beacons. Hey buddy, listen. I'm not asking for your approval here, okay? Dang. Got him. I also like Golos a lot too. Let's add a third Golos. I think two, three Gol Golos? And one Shark Typhoon seems kind of random. I guess if you... you I, Do you want to, like, play it on six and then cast an ultimatum with a 7-7? Seven, because seven? that seems kind of cool. I'd rather have another Golos than a Sarkon. I think a lot of the time. Goli. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, stupid interplanar beacons. Are there any, like, good multicolor lands in this format? Probably not, right? You have... It's it's funny because you only have one of the... I guess you have two of that one. Hmm. See, like, because you have casualties of war, I feel like the Abzan one is good to have double of. Plus, there was a surprising number of times where I was cycling them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Chromatic Ori is just better as another, as another ultimatum. Like, you're you've. I, I don't think we've or, or as a, as another Chromatic Lantern to be honest. Like, this is a seven mana artifact. That's a okay. The first ability, you may spend mana as a man of any color, is the same as Chromatic Lantern for three. Adding five when you have seven mana just isn't relevant. Like, it just doesn't matter because you already have seven and you much rather play an ultimatum. And then, like, the drawing a card for each color among permanents you control, like, drawing a card was never necessary for us. Like, I'm, I'm more concerned with finding ways to not draw cards. Oh, oh, Den, 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 this is this what you're talking about? This beautiful peer into the abyss? He's like, what the fuck is that art up there, man? I think we're just going to add a fourth. We're going to take out this this chromatic ori. One thing, Brandon, one thing, Superfits, one thing I like about you is that, like, you do try cards like this, though. You'll, like, you're definitely willing to put, like, a one of chromatic ori in the deck to see how it does. I think I'd rather have the lantern. Well, yes, this is just the wrong chromatic card, you know? And I think being able to go three to five to seven is really important. I also feel like one of these shatters can go into the sideboard. Uh, as you know with me, I also like that. What's the one ultimatum we don't have? Is it the Sultai ultimatum? That's fucking rude. 
that's rude as hell i mean it makes sense because i don't think it's very good it's literally it's actually terrible it's like it's so bad I kind of just want to do another Genesis ultimatum. I think it's the, one of the best ultimatums. It's Garbo. Yeah, it is Garbo. It's terrible. Um, what about one Ugin? Like, what about what about one eight mana Ugin? Why are we playing eight mana Ugin in this deck? What's wrong with you? All right, let's try it. We got six. Oh, we put one Shatter in the sideboard along with the deck. We have two more Deafening Clarions. I'll take out one Clarion. So that way we have three and three. And I think that's enough. Poor Elf's broken her. <laughs> Kerwit, you're nothing if not consistent, buddy. You're nothing if not consistent. I think we're gonna keep this it's a risky keep for sure but we got remorse we got three turns to draw land i'm gonna actually i'm gonna blacklist the words are strumming in the chat <laughs> scott oh, i relax it Okay, so we've drawn several lands. Let's go this guy, pay two. Let's remorse you. Oh, you got a companion, brah? Um, Noxious Gasp. Grasp, Gasp, Grasp. So noxious. Okay. Well, this is where Deafening Clarion is gonna shine like a beautiful diamond. If we can hit our red source. Come on, Red Source. We know they got two Fabled Passages in their hand. Yeah, I don't know. I do like Six Mana Liliana as well. the hold up here you got two lands and a and a Luris. you can't do anything are you tempted to you can't do anything i don't know why we're not passing here oh wow 
That's insulting. Can we do this? We got blue. We do. We can play this. That's actually really good against them. I kind of love going six mana Shark Typhoon into seven mana Ultimatum, but. What are we naming here? What's a red source that we have the most of? Let me aid your research. Um, hmm. Let me check this deck. How many steam vents do we have? One steam vents. Stomping ground seems good. Let's go for stomp. You can't get lands? Oh my god. I guess Chromatic Lantern's probably great then. Especially because we've added a fourth. Well, there's a Euro in the graveyard. I guess she doesn't get lands because then you can just always name a land. You'd be like, I'll get a plains. I'll get an island. I mean, we still got another hit, and it's, what's three cards? Four cards? So this is between the two turns and the draw step. There's a, we're going to reveal nine cards. We have four Chromatic Lanterns. That's a Euro. Let's go Lantern again. Oh my god. Just terrible. Although we can just play this Euro though. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of Eerie, Elder Spell, Agonizing, Overgrown, probably Breeding. We know their hand. They have Fable Passage and Alluris. They can't even activate Priest to do anything. Oh my god, they're going to sacrifice two things. Oh boy. Oh boy. I feel like... Put a land on the battlefield? Would love to. Oh, it escaped. All right. What if I play Vessel off Luris to get a 5-5? Five five? I mean, that's fine. Buddy, look at my hand. All just casualties of war their whole life. I got Heartless Act. I got Nicobolus, the Dragon God. What do you think this is? They didn't do anything. Is this for... <laughs> we got three, six. Yeah, we're just getting in there. Oh, we definitely should have played Clarion first. That would have been real good. But I didn't know what I wanted to do this turn. Like, I like playing Nicol Bolas, So, um, so one, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. They do life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're still just definitely clearing on here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This puts us down to six. No, five. But then we still get to go Clarion. Yeah, it's probably game. Okay. So is that a stupid sacrifice deck, huh? Clarion. I feel like Ashiok's probably decent here, huh? Take out the Shark Typhoon. Elder Spell. No, that's probably fine. Actually, Shatter's probably good, too. They got a bunch of Dirtles. <laughs> Y'all ever eat pizza? <laughs> there it is. Thank you! <laughs> God, disgusting. Cold beer! Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Do, do, do. I think it's just... I think it's, I'm gonna take out one Teferi. I don't like this Teferi. Well, I'm going to keep it. Any blue source lets us cast Euro. Any black source lets us cast Agonizing and Heartless. Any red source lets us cast Deafening. So if we can get a red, blue, black source. There's a black source. Unfortunately, there are no Grixis Triomes. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. You don't have a red source, though. Okay, so what do you have on board? Just a crappy Meyer Trident. I don't think I care about Priest here, to be honest. I think Butcher and Croxa are my biggest concerns, especially if, if they get exiled. Steam vents here would be just chef's kiss. <laughs> That's how we do. Is it Euro? It might just be Euro. There's a lot of things we can do here. All right, we'll just play this. Enters tapped. And we're going to keep up Heartless Act. Okay, I mean, we're, not, we're just going to Clarion next turn. So we're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of is what it is. I'm just always clicking both. Oh, what up, Badger? 
You gonna sack both these guys? Might as well. Draw a card. I take two. So the question last turn was, was it worth killing that uh, to prevent them from drawing a card and we lose a Heartless Act and take two? You got it. That's a lot of things you just did. Knock yourself out. Probably take our other snack. Nicely done. Nicely done. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you got green, green. See, oh god, I hate the Godless Shrine because it doesn't let us cast ultimatum. It's pretty rough. Um, similarly, Steam. Eh, now we got Steam events, so that's good. So we got red, red, white, 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 black. God, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's worse. Even if we can cast it, like it just gets rid of this guy. Like next turn, we can play Golos at least. Seems solid. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh, we need one more card in the graveyard. Badger, I did get your updated list. Oh, man. I mean, this guy's a problem. I think we just have to play Golos here. second red so I guess that's good sure fascinating okay well that answers that yeah. well we do get euro next turn one, two, three, four, and we have three left over. Actually, can we just activate this? Sure. This seems... decent. Just six? I'm taking six here. I uh, would rather activate Golos again. <laughs>
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might as well, right? Okay, free. So what can we get back? Heartless act to kill their boy. Wow, I thought we were gonna lose here. No tail should be discarded. Let's make sure we click the right one. Destroy creature with no counters on it. This fat idiot. You're never out of it when you got a Golos. <laughs> sure, draw more cards. Nobody cares. So, we can play Deafening Clarion for free. I'm pretty sure we're just playing Ketrit Triome here for free. Or not for free, but as our land. Um, we do lose Tamiyo. But, like, this guy leaving the board, we're going to lose Tamiyo either way. Oh, we should have done this first. Oh, we lose Golos instead. Okay, that's fine. For some reason, I forgot it would take three. There's a lot of things to keep track of here. Sure. This is all fine. Why wouldn't you play Lurus first and then play the Graveyard one to get the value? That's interesting. Also, you didn't play this first, so now you can't play the second one. Alright, that was like two misplays in a row. <laughs> I give him the old oops. All right. We only have two cards. I think the lesson here is that magic's a hard game. Sure. More data will be needed. Um. All right. We're gonna exile cards we don't necessarily care about in the future. Clarion. Your ultimatum, Teferi. Wow. Euro City. I'm gonna exile I am gonna exile their graveyard. Because now they can't get the guy back with Lurus. Wow. See that's not bad. But you can't play either of those, so that's cool. They might scoop here. They did not. They might scoop here. They did not.
two. Ooh, that's nice. So we got five mana. We can play Golos. Um, does it matter? Two cards I don't care about in your graveyard. Lots of things happening here. Seems good. I don't think I care about it though. Like we can activate Golos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13 mana, so we're very close to double Golos activations. If we hit a land off of our Golos, it's pretty good. Um Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> yep, casualties, Garrick, deafening Clarion. That'll probably do it. <sighs> Good grief, man! Good grief! Remember that time I added an extra Golos to the deck? Me too. Those were the days we ate the biscuits in the morning. What are we trying to do here? Uh, earn wins in standard. Jeez. For 50 gold, I have to win 17, 15 games? I feel like I can flip that, right? How do you get rid of... How do you change quests? Can you not? Is that just like a... Do I just have to do this one? Probably, yeah, right? Like, that's just... Yeah, that's just the 50 per win, sure. Alright, well, so, here's the thing. Quit eating my biscuits, buddy. I think you're more worried about people eating your bagels. I don't like this Teferi. I also think Jace is too cute. Ooh, don't you start on my bagels. <laughs> Buddy, I never would. Uh, collected and not collected. We'll look up planeswalkers that cost four. You haven't played against the Teferi's Tutelage Peer from the Mind deck yet. Well, maybe I'll put it in the sideboard in case I play against that nonsense bullshit. Because otherwise... Do we hate Elspeth? She makes blockers, she gains life. Do we have enough things that Vraska can eat? I don't think so. Here's the story. Michael Biscuit. What about one Ral Storm Conduit? Is that good? It's probably not, but the negative two to copy is real tempting with, uh... Oh, I do like six drop Liliana, actually. Uh, 
Oh, enigmatic incarnation. Oh. I like having a bunch of a mix of different uh, planeswalkers because it does work well with um, Eerie Ultimatum. I'm going to take one Teferi out. I almost feel like milling people is a is a trap right now. I kind of want to take one Jace, one Teferi, and add a third Agonizer Remorse. I don't want to mill myself though. Like, I mean, I just don't feel like it's benefit. It's not a beneficial ability unless you're actually trying to win via milling. Like, I get that you want to like play it if you're getting close, but like, even when we have like twelve cards in our deck, we should definitely have enough resources to win. And triple blue is not very easy in the deck. Neither is triple black, but I think Nicol Bolas is uh, strong enough, and it comes down later. And you're, you, it's easy to go turn three Chromatic Lantern into turn four Nicol Bolas, which is super nice. I'd much rather play, like, if I'm playing a Nicol Bolas versus a Jace, I think Nicol Bolas is way, way stronger because it gets down. Um, if I was going to play Solemn, I'd just sooner play another Golos because Golos is definitely, like, the, the centerpiece of the deck here. Like, I'd almost want one more Agonizing or one more Heartless Act just to have more early stuff. I think one more remorse could be good. I eh, will take out one temporary. Let's see if that does anything. Oh, actually, let's make sure we have enough black sources here. Three overgrown tomb is interesting. Because none of our none of our lands require triple green. So like I don't think we actually like and we only have one green spell here, so I actually don't think triple over and tomb is where we want to be. I think we're much more concerned with black. And almost blue. Like we definitely want watery graves. Um Also black I think we might want Sacred Foundry too. Just be able to cast Stephen Clarion or Shadow of the Sky is fine yeah let's put one sacred in the only problem with sacred is it doesn't help you it doesn't let you cast uh euro but you still have two other lands i still i kind of want a fourth euro card is just really good oh i do kind of like cutting the beacon the beacon How many breeding pools? Two breeding pools? That seems fine. Those were the days we ate the biscuits in the morning. I think it's fine. I think the, the subsequent life is nice. See, again, like, I can't stress enough that Euro is not only just a fantastic, like, it gains you life, it draws you a card, it lets you put a land into play, but it's also a f fucking amazing win condition, like... Um, that's a snapper. It's the full package. What did I say that you responded to with it's the full package? Let's see the Euro. Bring it on. E interesting. Giddy up. I 
I like this better because if they have a counter spell, I'd rather them counter one of our Euros than our one Chromatic Lantern. So I'm sure they're going to Mystical Dispute this. Aether Gust. We're going to decline because we do want lands. So that was a hard counter, unfortunately. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay. One, two, three, this guy, then this guy. They're not doing anything. I'm fascinated. Here's a story of a man named Frank, who was busy only drawing lands. He had a friend, let's call him Moochel, who owed money to a lot of angry rats. Is this a story or a song? I wanted to read it as a song, but I think it's just a story now. Song. <laughs> what's it sa what's the, is there a, what's it, Brady Bunch? Oh, oh, okay. Here's a story. Of a man named Frank, who was busy only drawing lands. It's, it's, I think your I think your syllables are off, but he had a friend. Let's call him Mucho, who owed money to a lot of angry rats. Like you got, <laughs> you really gotta, you really gotta rush that last one. Oh Jesus, I love that. I I like better that you drew four lands and a Fay of Wishes off of it though. So they're tapped out, so we can actually go land. I would like to test the new what are we gonna hit here? Genesis? It's always oh, Genesis, right? Okay, we got an eerie ultimatum in the yard. See, I feel like we should have two... Do we have two Genesis Ultimatums? I actually don't know. Fay of Wishes. Hard cat. No, you're... Okay, you're, you're wishing. Keep on wishing. Oh, boy. Uh, yikes for me, dog. No one asked for your input. Okay, but 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 we do have this, so hmm. I know, I know do it again. Oh! Oh! Oh, we did it, boys! Oh, is it? In the top five cards, put any number of permanents on the battlefield for the rest of your hand. I feel like we just whip it right now, right? It's got, we got it, we have to, it has to be right now. Oh, it's not very good. One, two, that was not, that was not ideal. Uh, enters tapped. So I have, I have one mana left. So I love I love these borders, man. Um, you know, let's just get rid of Brazen Bar. I actually, Fay of Wishes is probably the best card to get rid of here, right? No, we'll get rid of Brazen Bar. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know their hand, so that's decent. God, these borders are so nice. I wish I had them. Uh, why not put Catcher into play? Because, I mean, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sources of mana. And I think being able to cycle this is significantly better than having 12 sources of mana. Digger's Cage. What are you two and you're three, huh? And you're tapped out again? Wild. So we can just negative three, he goes to five, and they just don't really have much to do about it? We can also shoot this, but then they just equip that. What does this do? Permanence to your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible. Sure. Um. I actually think it might just be better to lightning bolt this guy. Because, I mean, they attack him for two and he goes down to seven instead of five. And, like, I don't care if you want to spend two mana to equip. Are they wishing again? Good grief. Wait, why do these have different arts? Does it look like this in their hand, but it looks like this on the stack? Okay. What are you doing, bud? Take it easy. Hi, dogs. Like, they have to find something that gets sort of a in here for four mana. I don't know if that card exists in blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. Okay, take it easy. Disdainful stroke? Sure, that's cute. You got it. Oh, what up, Josh? Going face. That's interesting. Oh, we were going to cycle this. I'm so bad at this game. I got so distracted. So can I just go negative two here? Artifact, creature, land. Probably not Planeswalker. Uh, Artifact, creature, land. I mean, he just gets disdainful stroke out of hand, which is fine. Why are they still playing? <laughs> Buddy, you got me. These are two, right? Yep, cool. Oh, because Graph Digger's Cage. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, so we got one, two, three. 
All right, now we'll cycle. Well, yeah, I didn't think Cage was going to go away. I just didn't care about it at the time. Like, they're just trying to deal with Euro, and that's that's understandable. Beanie boy! You got one, two, three, four, five, and this is going to be six, because then it comes into play untapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we know all your hand. Okay. I'm all right with it. So got two mana up, we know exactly what they have. Bean Stalker boy. Bone crushy boy. Okay, don't forget to cycle this like a like an intelligent individual. These matches definitely go long. We've only played like three matches and we're already at like an hour and twenty seven minutes. So But are we undefeated? Are we two oh with this deck so far? Why would you play anything else in standard than this deck? It's just a blast. That's fascinating. <laughs> you know how it goes. Okay, so you have a bunch of junk. You can play this. I kind of just want to Clarion here and then play Chandra. Why are they still playing? Fact of the day. In 2013, Dull Scotland partnered with Boring Oregon, USA, and Blandshire, Australia to form the League of Extraordinary Communities. The Alliance is thinking of expanding by joining forces with the American cities of Ordinary and Jury. Is this true? Usually your facts of the day are true. Because it's called a fact, not a made-up bullshit of the day. That's insane and amazing. I just met with a company called Chef Charmy to do some consulting work for them in HR, and they sent me home with 60 containers of butter. <laughs> Dude, Utah is like fucking crazy with their butter, man. Oh, you're going face. Okay. Well, we are at 10. We do want to gain some life at some point. Ten, ten. Seems good. We got Shatter. I'm fine with it. Okay, we're going to definitely be Shattering now. I mean, we also can ultimate this guy next turn, which should be just the best. Last fact of the day, the word miniature is not etymolo etymologically related to words like minimum or minuscule, so min would not be the uh, the common prefix. It comes from the name of the bright red pigment minium. It was used in the making of medieval manuscripts illustrations, which were quite small. Badger, these facts are wonderful, and I love when you do them because I'm always like, wow, that's crazy. So they just play all these guys, and then we, like, have to exile all of them, I guess. But I don't care enough, so I'm actually just going to ultimate Ugin. Because that seems much cooler. That's like activating Golos twice. You got it. Bow body. Bow body. And what are we doing? We're making acronyms. Bow body. <laughs> What if we don't hit anything, though? Did you ever think about that, guys? We could neg three, shoot this guy as well, and also Clarion. Or we can neg three and Clarion. That kills the whole board, right? We probably want to do that first, right?
Make sure these aren't... Beast Noble? I didn't know this was a Noble. That's hilarious. Is Noble Hierarch a Noble? No, because it's not a Noble. It's just Noble. still playing. You bounced my oop. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Did they concede? Did they bounce oog and concede? Huh. Well, that's fascinating. Okay, so what are they playing? They're playing some, uh, some adventures. Why not bounce you and Clarence on stack? Buddy, I can't. I can't answer. I can't answer these questions. Old Porta, the updated list is right here. It will be on YouTube, yes. It will probably be on YouTube tomorrow night. Or Saturday morning. But, you can also just screenshot it right now. Screenshot it. Get your screenshots in. I think this is actually fine. Just want to say the hair looks nice and that you're doing a great job, Badger. I appreciate you, buddy. You are a saint among men. Oh, look at you go. really good I actually love this teamer deck I just I mean I, I think once they draw these guys it's we should probably have some answers to artifacts in the signboard fascinating that they just cast that like normal So next turn we can Golos, and then we can actually we'll play one of these. Blue, blue, red, red, or blue, blue, red, red, red. It's gonna be tricky. So we got three and three here.
let's get a we want a red and white at the at the very least can we cast ultimatum next turn so we have black 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 uh white white we need another white and breeding pool does not let us cast it so we definitely want hmm, that's rough just want to say your job looks nice and you're doing a great hair i appreciate it it's actually really hard to figure out oh god so we have two black we need a white for the the triome and then we need to draw like a red I guess I guess worst case we just play inspired. Is that a thing we can do? Thank you. I hope. No, because overgrown overgrown tomb doesn't la let us cast inspired ultimatum, and ruinous ultimatum can't be cast with breeding pool. So we have like two lands that don't let us cast the other thing. Unseen Spectre, thank you so much for the for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Badger, thank you for the the one thousand and two gifted sub. As you guys can see, Badger did not. Uh, did not rest on his laurels when it comes to gifting subs. 1,000 did not slow him down. Mm -hmm. God, if we can draw one land to ruin... We can't, we, we can't, we can't ruin this, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, we can Golos, though, right? So we can't cast either of these, right? Dang it. <gasps> Whoa! Ruin his fucking ultimatum off the tippity top, bitch! <laughs> oh, wow. A family. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh, can someone clip that? Cause that's a that's a fucking clip, bro. I'm posting that on social media. Oh good. Oh my God, ruinous and Genesis off of Golos, and then hitting. <laughs> All they wanted to do was play Ruin Assault Ultimatum, and Golos is like, I got you, bro. Wow, that was phenomenal, dude. 3 0. 3 0, guys. 23 card man costs on turn 5. <laughs> yeah, because 7 for one ultimatum, 7 for the other ultimatum. Uh, so it's 14, 8 for... U no, I think it's more than that. 8 for Ugin. Right? So 14 plus 8, 22. Uh, 4 for Tamiyo. So 26. 26 is pretty bonkers, guys. I don't want to change anything else. I just want to play it again and see what happens. Oh, and, uh, and Lantern. Yeah, so 29... Okay. I mean, Ultimatum, Ultimatum, Ugin, Lantern, Tamio seems like a, a, a decent turn five. I don't know. I'm no expert. Dude, that's like some vintage cube level nonsense. God, I really hope someone clipped it. Can someone clip it? Where's Affinity? Is it not funny enough? Affinity's like, eh, I don't really think it's funny enough. Hey, Frank, I don't think you saw, but I took that Mono Black Devotion deck to Mythic. On Wednesday and wanted to say it has been a blast and Rob was super wrong about mono, but wow, Cassius, that's awesome to hear, dude. I'm clipping that and I'm gonna show it to Rob. What an absolute dummy. I'm gonna title this Rob Dumb. 
Oh yeah, definitely showing that to Robbie. Affinity nailed it. So we can't cast either of these, right? Dang it. <gasps> Whoa! Ruined his fucking ultimate about the Timothy Top Bitch! <laughs> oh wow. Man, even watching it, I'm like, that was amazing. What's going on? V Battlefield? What's going on right now? <laughs> Okay, well, do we just get a free win here? That's pretty cool. I'm still gonna just keep watching the clip. <laughs> oh, oh! That's amazing, dude. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> Affinity, I'm not sure Rob Dumb is the correct name for this clip because this has nothing to do with Rob. This hand's pretty rough. Oh, this is better. Let's put this guy back. <laughs> Here's, this command's called Rob Dumb. Even though this command has nothing to do with Rob. You should probably just call it ultimatums. Yeah, a Euro or a Chromatic Lantern would really put this hand into the good place. Come into the good place, hand. Oh, the hand is... Well, you can take one of my six drops for my seven drops. Uh, it's up to you, buddy. Oh, they took Genesis? They know it's the best. They know what's up. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Love it. Affinity, nicely done, buddy. I appreciate you. Okay, I hope you don't kill this. You know what? Why not both? <laughs> Checks out. Oh, Hydroid Crassus for two, huh? Come on, Golos. Elder spell. Alright, well. Two, three, four. <laughs> Any number of planeswalkers, you pick. I choose zero. I don't really want to destroy any Bladeswalkers. They're my friends, you see. My god. Oh, good. We needed six mana. And, uh... We definitely hit it. I guess we're just gonna take a little more damage here, guys. Just gonna take a little more damage.
Guys, do you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna casualties of war and oh look they are. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Good times. Facetious elephant, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. You got it, man. Well, I'll take your elder spell. Reds. I mean, we could concede, but like... Oh, we go to one. Yeah, we'll just concede here. We will just concede. Because there's nothing like we can draw, really. Even if uh, Casualties of War doesn't even do anything for them. Um, okay. Uh, red or green? Sure. Take out the Typhoon. Green, sure. They got Tefri because he's not great. I think this is fine. I don't think we want Mystical Dispute. I just don't think it's like we're just playing on our turn mostly. I don't think you even cast... Yeah, but I don't... Like, I just don't see him... I don't know. Maybe he's fine. They're just really taking their time here. We'll give it a shot. That's pretty good. Well, well, well. Some of them magical cards. What up, Garrett? Land off the top one time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Literally only for Chromatic Lantern? Fucking amazing. Jesus. That's hilarious.
no red sources. Yeah, I feel like your mana base is your biggest issue, which is which is sad because we have 25 lands and we still just can't hit a fifth land on turn five. Would love to Golos there. I'm kind of tempted to kill this. Uh, Elder Stole, do you have double black? We do. Elder Spell can't kill anything else. So being able to just Elder Spell next turn is nice. If we can hit a red source, it's actually very good. We're just going to pass and take that. Red source. Not a red source. Fantastic. All right, now we're probably dead. I was literally just hoping to hit a land of the next two cards. So I think if we don't, uh, we're probably still dead. But Nice. Win. Oh, I guess we also have Golos that, that they could hit with Wilt. But, I mean, the damage is already done there. We're drawing a card, so. Rise, my elemental friend. Yep, go to eight. Hey, still not a red source. Gets rid of your lands, I guess. Let's see if you got Mystical Dispute so I can concede on the spot. No? Okay. Well, fifth land still still would be nice. Uh, I don't know what turn we're on. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven, so it looks like we're about probably turn seven. I was on the play, so it'll be our eighth turn. You know? Blue, blue, green, green. Yep, go to five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine mana. That's pretty wild. <sighs> See, this is... Oh, actually, Noxious Grasp might keep us alive. So we go to six, we take two, we go to four. <laughs> oh man, we got a one here. I can't imagine what like what they could play in yep, okay. Cool. This is a super cool card. Super Fritz! 3-1 I think is still pretty decent. I think this deck is real sweet. But I think any deck with Ultimatums and uh, Chromatic Lantern and Golos is pretty sweet. So, Antibody, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Super Fritz, hopefully you got some ideas here. Uh, hopefully we had a good time. And hopefully... I think Golos is definitely important enough to have three of them in the deck. I think activating Golos is really, really important. Um, Shark Typhoon is... Still pretty iffy. Tefri's still pretty iffy, even though I haven't cast him. Um, I think Shark Typhoon's fine. It's like, a, I do like the idea of like, oh hey, I can I can Shark Typhoon for like a ten ten if I have twelve lands out, or I can, uh, you know, cast it with look at got Wally over here, or I can cast it and then ultimate events with those. Are, those are great ideas, but like in a deck like this, you really want to maximize your odds of hitting things. Like, you want to maximize your chances of, of ramping to seven. So, like, I could even see cutting Shark Typhoon for the fourth Golos. Or for the fourth Euro. Like, yeah, I could see cutting Teferi and Shark Typhoon for, like, Golos Euro. Because you want to make sure you have these on three. Make sure you have this on five. Stuff like that, so. Um, I played against someone named the real Frank Laporte. Now, I don't, I don't know who that is. But that's probably a meme because everyone's like, is this the real Frank Laporte? So, that's pretty hilarious. Um, either way. Super Fritz, hopefully you got some ideas. Hopefully we had some fun. And, uh, you know, there's uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to, as usual, I'll email you the uh, the list. And you guys can find it down in the description below this YouTube video. Uh, and I will be sure to check out manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. I just had an article go up yesterday about Mono Black Devotion and Historic. 
and uh i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching